Good morning, everybody. Welcome to My Creative Time with Emma. Happy birthday to me, and I wanted to thank you all for joining me for this special week. We have some good stuff going on, so let's go ahead and get started with our very first video. Today I'm going to be making a cute little, I'm actually going to make myself a cute little party gift bag. Um, I will be using this uh, cartridge, Create a Critter, and the little cute, I'm actually going to be using this cute little doggy here. This cute little pink poodle, that's what I'm going to be using, and I'm going to show you how I designed this little gift bag in my Gypsy right okay, now. Here we go. Um, now this here, this wasn't my original idea. I like to, if I'm going to get an idea from someone else, I like to kind of give credit to where credit's due. Um, I actually got this idea for a gift bag from Angie over at Chicken Scratch. It was her idea, but I, I actually kind of diff definitely made a difference to make it my own. So what I'm doing today, I'm going to be covering up, um, it's actually like a brown, like almost like a brown paper lunch bag, but a smaller version of it, the kind you could pick up at Michael's. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how I um, did the this on my Gypsy to cover up the bag to begin with. So let's go to page two. I designed this in three different pages, by the way. So this is going to be your, um, let me zoom in so you can see. Okay, see so what you see in red, that's what's going to cut out. I, I went ahead and I did two of them. That's what's going to cut out. One's going to cover the front side of the bag, and then the other one's going to cover the back side of the bag. And this is measured at, um, let's see. This is measured at four and a half inches across by eight inches tall. And I, that's just a standard square I picked up from George Cartridge. And this inside here is just a little uh, oval shape I also picked up from George. And it is three quarter inch tall and three inches wide. And that's going to serve as the handle for the bag. And so let's go to the next page, page three. Now this little shape here, this little shape in the center I actually got from Storybook Cartridge and this little um, shape is four inches across and six and a half inches um, up and down and this is going to be my pattern paper I'm going to be putting on to that. And then on page one, this is where my little, how I'm going to lay it out here. I went ahead and got my little cute poodle. Um, she is sized at two and three quarters and I'm going to put her right there. And these are her little accessories, like her extra little, her extra little wig, I should say. Um, and that little thing that goes around her neck. Um, and this is the little hair bows that's going to go on the little hair. And these are the three balloons. I'm going to put one there and one's going to go there. And one is going to go right there. That's how I'm going to place it on my bag. I have everything cut out for you already. Let's go ahead and get this cute bag together. Okay, here go. Here are all of my pieces. This is the little bag I was talking about. It is four and a quarter, four and a quarter inches across and a half inches tall. But I went ahead and I cut it down to be six and a half inches. And these are the pieces that are going to go on the front and the back. So when you're putting these on to your bag, what you want to do is get this part and you're going to fold it down. Let me get my bone folder. As soon as we get this together. So let's go ahead and use my ATG gun. And go ahead and I always put the glue on the bag. Okay, so let's get this on here. Let me kind of center it. Should do it. All right, perfect. And let me go ahead and get this on here. Okay, and this one here, you're just going to line up with the first uh, piece of cardstock.
Now look at how perfect is that because this serves as the little handles. That's why I had you fold it um, back at the bottom there so this way you can open perfectly like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get everything on here. Let's get our first layer on here. I think this layer is so cute. This is from, I think it's called Kids Safari from Die Cuts with a View. Let's go ahead and get this on here. Alrighty, and let's get our cute little poodle. Okay, here goes our little poodle here. Isn't she adorable? And here goes all her pieces. Now, this is a brand new stamp set from Peachy Keen Stamps, and it's called the Critter Faces. Now, I want to show you, I did something a little different here. I used this little face right there, but you see how, I'm not sure if you could tell or not, but how it has a little nose. Well, since our little doggy had a nose already, what I did was I did some masking on there. So what I did was I just cut out, um, punched out a little circle, and I put it right in the center where the nose should go, and then I just stamped my, it's not on here right now, but I, I stamped it on there, and so when I stamped it on there, the, new, the little nose stamped on the white part, and I put, I used a removable adhesive so this way it didn't it didn't stamp with the nose so I thought that came out perfect so let's go ahead and get her together and I also did some little doodling on her also to match the pink around the bag and this is just gonna go right here. let me get my little tweezer bees to help me Just to kind of go over a couple of things really quick, uh, in order for you to enter this drawing for the whole week, I will have a different giveaway each day. I'll be announcing all the winners on Monday, um, but you would need to leave a comment under each post each day. So if you're watching this over on YouTube, um, you need to come back to my blog, which is www creativetimeforme.com and you're going to go ahead and leave a comment there and whatever you do please 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 leave a way for me to get a hold of you if you win because if you win when if random.org chooses your name and if I go and there's no way for me to contact you I'm going to have to pick someone else because I have sometimes you know it's hard you know I can't guess you know what I'm saying <laughs> So it's easier if you just went ahead and made sure you left a way for me to contact you. Okay, almost got everything on here. And for these cute little sayings here, these are from My Pink Stampers brand, brand new set. And this one is the Family and Friends. And this is our giveaway for today. These are She has some really cute ones on this one. This one I chose um, chose to use three of them. Make a wish and my two favorite words, believe and dream. Look at how cute these are. So what I'm going to do, actually let me just turn that one that way. I'm going to go ahead and draw the little strings on here instead of putting the real string on. It would be easier. Okay, how cute is that? And then I'm going to go ahead and use this. Um, where's my glue dot? I'll just put this one right here. Just make it smaller. That's it, everybody. I hope you liked it. It's my own little birthday gift bag I made for myself. Isn't this adorable? So, good luck to everybody. Leave a comment on this post to go ahead um, to enter for the drawing to win my pink stampers um, stamp set for the day and also all the winners will be announced on Monday. Thank you so much for joining me today for my special day. Um, have a great day and I will see you back here tomorrow morning. Bye bye.